where uh, zinc battery, you have, you have a uh, lot more availability of raw materials. You have a uh, higher safety factor. There's very low risk of a thermal runway and you have much higher operability in wide temperature range. For years, people have been told that fast charging destroys batteries. The warning has always been the same. If a battery receives too much current too quickly, its life will be cut short. But now a team at the Georgia Institute of Technology has found something that goes against that old belief. They discovered that charging a zinc ion battery faster can actually make it perform better. A damaged zinc ion battery even began healing itself when the current was increased. At the same time, another research group rebuilt the atomic structure inside a zinc ion cathode so that the same distortions that normally weaken it instead make it stronger and more flexible than before. These findings matter because zinc ion batteries are not just laboratory experiments. They have real potential as cheaper and safer alternatives to lithium batteries for home energy storage and large scale grid use. They do not catch fire and they rely on materials that are abundant and easier to source. The main problem holding them back has been poor lifespan. Zinc ion batteries usually fail long before lithium batteries do. These discoveries could change that story completely. To understand why this is surprising, it helps to look at why fast charging normally harms batteries. In lithium batteries, high current creates heat. Too much heat shortens battery life and can help form thin, sharp needles of lithium metal called dendrites. These dendrites can eventually penetrate the separator inside the battery and cause a short circuit. That danger is why people are told not to charge their phones or electric vehicles too quickly. But zinc ion batteries behave differently. They also form dendrites, but the chemistry and movement of ions inside them are not the same as in lithium systems. This difference proves to be important. Interest in zinc ion technology has been rising because these batteries offer benefits that lithium cannot. They use water-based electrolytes that cannot ignite. Zinc is less toxic mined around the world and produced in huge quantities, mostly for the steel industry. Every year, about 13 million tons of zinc are produced, which is almost 100 times more than lithium. Proven zinc reserves greatly exceed lithium reserves, making zinc the easier and often cheaper choice. One economic study placed the raw material cost of a zinc manganese dioxide battery at about $24 per kilowatt hour compared to $37 for lithium iron phosphate. Lower cost alone does not guarantee quality though. A cheaper battery that does not last long is a bad investment. This is where zinc ion batteries have struggled. Lithium iron phosphate batteries often last 3000 cycles or more before losing a significant amount of capacity. Zinc manganese batteries often lose 20% of their capacity before reaching even 1000 cycles. Part of the problem is how zinc deposits on the anode. When zinc ions move from the cathode to the anode during charge, they do not always land evenly. Rough spots form. These rough surfaces can turn into dendrites that grow sharper and longer with each cycle. The same process happens in lithium metal batteries, which is why engineers monitor dendrite formation so closely. Because of this similarity, many researchers assumed that fast charging would be even worse for zinc ion batteries. More current usually means more uneven growth, more dendrites, and faster failure. But the Georgia Tech team wanted to see what actually happened instead of relying on assumptions. They worked at Brookhaven National Laboratory, using powerful X-ray imaging to watch zinc dendrites form in real time under different charging speeds. What they saw surprised them. When the charging current was high, zinc ions settled more quickly and formed neat hexagonal crystals that stacked smoothly and cleanly. The surface became flat and uniform. When the current was low, the ions moved slowly, formed competing crystal shapes, and created a messy surface. That rough structure acted like a loose metal sponge that could easily turn into dendrites later. The team compared the early stages of zinc plating to growing a lawn. If undesirable growth appears first, it will take over the entire surface, but if the right type of growth appears early, the whole lawn grows evenly. A fast charge acts like a tool that forces the surface into a healthier pattern. When the researchers increased the current density from around 60 to 100 milliamps per square centimeter, the rough and damaged anode flattened out again. The battery began healing itself. 
This result suggests that smart charging protocols using short bursts of high current could maintain zinc ion batteries and even repair them over time without changing the materials or redesigning the cell. The anode is only part of the story. Zinc ion batteries also fail because of their cathodes, which are often made from manganese dioxide. During every charge and discharge, zinc ions squeeze into and out of the manganese oxide layers. This movement changes the volume of the cathode. Over time, the structure cracks, similar to how pavement cracks after many cycles of heating and cooling. Manganese cathodes also suffer from what is known as the Jan Teller effect. On the atomic level, certain manganese atoms distort their positions inside the crystal, twisting like the legs of a wobbly chair. Each cycle twists them more until the cathode loses its shape and breaks down. A team from the University of Technology Sydney and the University of Manchester approached this problem in a new way. Instead of trying to prevent the distortions, they sought a way to control them. They built a new cathode structure made of extremely thin layers of manganese oxide, alternating with thin sheets of graphene. Each layer is only a few atoms thick. They also balanced the manganese atoms so that the distortions became synchronized. Instead of twisting in different directions and damaging the lattice, the distortions now moved together. This allowed the structure to flex and absorb stress rather than fracture. The scientists called this approach strain engineering, and it changed the way the cathode handled volume changes. With these improvements, the battery reached more than 5,000 cycles, even when the charging rate was five times higher than usual, while keeping a capacity around 165 milliamp hours per gram. The design has another advantage. It uses water-based manufacturing methods that do not require high temperatures or harmful solvents. The combination of flexibility, stability, and simpler production methods could help this cathode design become practical at scale. There is another related breakthrough worth noting. A separate group at the Technical University of Munich developed a very thin protective coating for zinc anodes. This coating encourages zinc to deposit smoothly and reduces dendrite formation. It also protects the anode from corrosion and lowers the amount of hydrogen